What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday we installed Lorantis Active Target Transducer. We have a video on the channel showing the complete install, an instructional video. If you wanna go take a peek at that, I'll put a link up above you and down below this one if you wanna go check it out once you're done watching this one. So today's video, we're gonna cover how to update the Active, the active Target Transducer. This is not for our graphs. That's a completely separate update. I see a lot of confusion on this. You wanna of course make sure your graphs are updated to the latest version. If you're unsure how to do that, I have a video on the channel showing you how to do that as well. I'll put a link to that up above you and down below. But once you have your graphs updated to the latest version, there is an update for the active target transducer itself. I see a lot of confusion on this. I've even seen some people in the forum saying that there is no update, which is false. There is an update for the transducer itself. It's very simple to do only takes a few minutes. So I'm going to show you how to check and see what version of software you're actually running on your active target. And then I'll show you how to get the upgrade done. All right, so we're up here at the bow with the 216s up here. My active target is turned on. So let me show you how to check to see what version of software you're currently on with your active target transducer. So one way you can check is from your home screen, you're gonna go into settings, you're gonna click on sonar, and you're gonna click on active target installation. Okay, and right there at the top, it says source active target and then some number. So it's 64. 0.2.52. That's the version I'm on right now. All right, so I'm just going to click cancel to get out of there. That's how you check to see what version you're on. All right, so let me show you how to get the up update done. So this is how you're going to get the update onto your SD card and then into your fish finder. So all you need is a micro SD card, 32 gigabytes or smaller, the adapter to go into the computer. So let me pop that into my laptop here and I'll show you how to find the update. This is gonna pop up real quick. Now I actually already have it downloaded onto my SD card, but let me show you how you do it. So Lawrence.com, that's all you're gonna to go to. At the top, you're gonna to click on help and support. And then in the middle of the screen, you're gonna see manuals and software updates. Go ahead and click on that, which is gonna bring you to this screen. In the drop down box, you have to go all the way down to the bottom and it's under transducer. So click on transducer, you can see right there. And then once you're on this page, scroll all the way down, Active Target Software 20.1. This is gonna, you click on that and it's gonna bring it to this screen. So you can see right here, it was just released on January 18th of 2021. It's version 20.1-64.2.54. It's the latest software version for Active Target. All right, so all you're gonna do is click on download this is gonna ask you if, if you wanna register your device. I already did, so I'll, I'll just say no to that. Now, I'm not gonna go any further because I've already downloaded the file, but this is all you do. So you're just gonna click on that link right there that's out, that says download your file here. Once it's saved to your computer, make sure it's on your SD card, of course. Um, and then once you have it on your SD card, I'll show you what it looks like. Let me pull up my SD card real quick, just to show you that it's already on there. Whoops, sorry about that. All right, so here you can see Active Target 20.1-64.2.54 is the file on my SD card. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. I'm gonna take my SD card out of the computer and we'll head back over to the unit. All right, we're back at the unit here. So all I'm gonna do, you wanna make sure the unit is powered on. And I think this is where a lot of people are getting confused because when you update the graph itself, you have to turn the graph off insert the SD card and then turn the graph on with the card already in it. That is not what you need to do for the active target transducer. So graph is obviously on. You can see the micro SD card is still in my hands. It is not in the graph just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and insert it into one of the SD card slots. I just pop that in there. Once the card is in the unit, you're gonna come over to storage right here or it's on some graphs, it actually says files, either one, mine says storage, so we're gonna go into that. And then you're gonna find your memory card. So I put it in the top slot, so memory card top, you're gonna click on that, and you can see the file right here. So we're gonna click on the file, and then it says right here, upgrade. Click on upgrade. You wanna come over here, you can see again, select the file. And then down here in the corner, it says start upgrade. So start upgrade. Okay, and you can see the progress up here. The system, I believe, is going to reboot. That I'm actually not sure of. This is the first time I'm updating the transducer itself. Maybe not, actually. 
Let me just give it a second and see what happens here. It says it's 100% progress, but we'll give it a second just to make sure. I don't know if the system is going to reboot or not. Yeah, there it is right there. It says rebooting module. So the active target, tra I'm actually looking at my active target module in my rod locker right now. That module is actually rebooting. So you're just going to want to let this play out and I'll pick back up with you once the rebooting is done. Okay, this is the next thing that I saw. The, the bar went all the way to 100% with the rebooting the module. The lights on the actual module itself, I was watching, they're gonna flicker on and off, um, so that's totally normal. Then it says upgrade complete, so we're just gonna click okay. To make sure the update took, we're gonna just gonna go check just like we did earlier. So go into settings, sonar, active target installation, and you can now see it says active target 64.2.54. All right, so we are now at the most current version of Active Target. So it's that easy, guys. Very simple process. Just make sure your units, your graphs themselves are updated. Again, we have a video here on the channel showing you how to do that if you're not sure. And then this is how you update the actual transducer itself. All right, so hopefully this clears up some of the confusion I've seen. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, leave them down below, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.